What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm over here at my buddy's uh, shop, David Visard. Now, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you've noticed that I've done some videos over here in his shop. And people have made the comment that we need to go on a little shop tour, so stay tuned because that's exactly what we're getting ready to do. So welcome to DV shop. Um, this here, it's a little small area, but let me tell you, the things that we do in here are huge. Uh, this area right here is where we keep up with our incoming work. You notice we have everything from Eric Castor's small block four, 393 stuff, to some gnarly big block Chevy heads, uh, small block Chevy head there, small block four, so literally everything from one extreme to the other is we do in this shop. This area in here is going to be a new grinding room so we can do nasty grinding on porting cylinder heads over there. Keep that isolated for just that purpose. Um, coming over here, see something that's really cool. If you don't know what this is, that's truly okay. I understand, but this is a Ford 4.6 liter two valve uh, trick flow head. This thing rocks. Um, in the upcoming episodes, you're gonna see David and myself, we're gonna build a 4.6 liter two valve using these heads on my 2003 Ford Crown Vic because it has a dead hole, needs a new engine, so I can't build anything stock. I mean, that's out. Uh, coming on over here, you see our trusty Superflow flow bench. Got our computer right there. All right, let's go for a walk in here. This is where all of the work gets done for the most part. Got our lathe, got grinding benches right here. Now check this out, this is awesome. This is a Parker funnel web intake, and he's done a lot of uh, mods on the outside, but it's what's on the inside that matters. We're gonna have a video talking about the things that he's done here and what kind of power you can expect from those mods. Uh, it's gonna be awesome because you will be surprised how much power can be had with those. Coming on over here is my favorite machine in the entire shop besides the flow bench the trusty black and decker bow seat machine this thing is so cool we had one of these that was very similar in high school and that's why i love it so much it's near and dear to my heart because i came up using one of these things uh, there's the other trick flow cylinder head our other mill I'm going to pretty much turn this into a CNC machine. Valve spring compressor, uh, tester, duh. And our trusty brake area. You may be saying, why do you have a brake area? Well, uh, because I tell you why, this is not only just a, a shop, David transforms this entire area into a classroom and it's not uncommon to have 15 to 20 attendees coming to his three-day seminar three or ten day seminar so i don't know who's calling but we'll figure it out but anyways i highly advise you to go to david visard performance check out his seminars and uh, i promise you if you come to it it's well worth the money because the amount of information that you will learn in those three days can take you from being good to great. I promise. Um, oh yeah, gotta go over here to our assembly room. Now, this is where we do all of our engine building and our uh, photography for uh, the engine builds. This is the block for mixed up balls right here which I'm gonna be going next weekend to get the awesome Greg Brown cylinder heads. Can't wait. 
This is a long rod 306 that I built for David for to test about 10 different sets of cylinder heads. We're going to do a back-to-back -back dyno test ranging everything from stock E7s all the way up to exotic stuff that David has ported. So that's going to be going on the dyno really soon. Um, more cylinder heads for the cylinder head test. My buddy Chris Reese's 351 Windsor that we're working on. You're going to be seeing more videos of that coming up. But that pretty much concludes the shop tour here at DV's. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. You know, it just gives you a little bit of behind the scenes look at where I hang out. I learn a lot about engines, but learn even more about life in this room. So until next time, this is Andy from Unity Motorsports. Catch you later.